you can change your go forward cue to something that's not so kicking to go more to your seat and use the dressage whip to get that hind end to start driving forward. Isn't that collection? Think about collection, for example. What's the difference between capturing the horse's nose and the difference between collection? Well, capturing the horse's nose is being able to take the horse's nose with, with whatever tools or devices you want to use and to say, I want your nose right here. True collection comes when you bring this end of the horse closer. When we think about gathering grapes or gathering fruit, what, are we collecting it, right? So when we talk about collection, we talk about gathering the horse up, shortening the stride. Now watch Carbon go into a canter. See, collection shortens that lead, that, 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 and you can slow him down and have control of the horse. And you'll notice, I'm not draping the reins. Why am I not draping the reins? Can I drape the reins? Yes. But that causes the horse to do what? Lengthen out. Don't I want to shorten that stride? Don't I want to get that horse collected? Get that horse start using its hind end? Think about this for a second. I've got a horse here. He naturally carries 60% of his weight right here on his forehand. Okay? So I want, and I weigh 350 pounds. So if I'm sitting here on not really, but <laughs> but if I'm sitting here, if he's already carrying 60% of his weight here, and then I throw my 350 pounds on top of him, guess what? He's on the forehand. Don't we see a lot of these Western pleasure horses or, or some Western horses on their forehands? Because we, what do we have? We, we, what we need to do is pick them up, get them elevated in the shoulders. How can we do that if we don't make contact with the horse's face? We have to make contact. We have to bring them up and collect them and, and capture their nose. If your horse doesn't accept, how many aids are there? How many? Six. There's six aids, right? Your right hand, left hand, right leg, left leg, and your seat bone, and you also have your verbal cue. Now, dressage people, they don't like using verbal cues, but I'm Western. <laughs> I can bend the rules a little bit.